This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Spiral Paisley. This video is being sponsored by the Australian Shadows Quilt Pattern. Put together this beautiful quilt that will showcase your favorite fabrics and learn how to quilt it as well. Download your pattern today at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to Spiral Paisley. This design is stitched by first starting with a very simple teardrop shape. What you're going to do is stitch that teardrop and then you're going to travel stitch along the edge of it and go inside and swirl into a very simple circle at the end. Then continue that circle shape and spiral inside of it. Spiral back out again. You can see that I'm stitching right to the side. I'm not travel stitching, I'm just stitching right to the side. And then simply travel stitch the rest of the way down. And now I'm going to echo the spiral. I'm just going to bounce back and forth, creating arch echoes back and forth all the way to the end of the teardrop. It's really a step-by-step -step process. If you didn't want it this dense, you could always just stitch the teardrop shape and the single spiral, and that would be enough. It's entirely up to you. Then all you're going to do is just simply pivot and echo this spiral paisley. The pivoting and the echoing is how this design works, how it expands, how it covers more space on the surface of your quilt. So you want to make those echoes just as big and wide as you want them to be. When you get bored stitching echoes, all you have to do is just simply branch out with a new teardrop shape, travel stitch inside the tip, swirl into that circle shape, and continue that swirl all the way around and into the center and then stitch right through the middle all the way back out. Spirals are one of those designs that they can be kind of tricky, but if you take your time and you practice stitching them, they really are no trouble at all. The trick is simply leaving double the space to get back out again, and then as you're stitching back out, just stitch right through the middle of that extra space. Now I'm going to swirl around. You can see that this is kind of a tight, very small spiral paisley because it's kind of squished in this little area right here. So I'm being very careful not to build up my thread too much against that side of the block. Just going to build that up just a bit and swirl into another spiral paisley. If you want a simpler version of this design, just check out paisley. It's just teardrop shapes. You don't actually have to go inside and fill with the spiral if you don't want to. If you want something that's a little less dense, a little less complicated, paisley is a great alternative to this design. Now, where will this design work best on your quilts? Really, this design is going to work best uh, stitched on a kind of a smaller scale, simply because of the level of travel stitching that it involves. You could put this on a bed quilt. Uh, you certainly could. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but the biggest thing to keep in mind is just simply uh, not letting the layers of thread build up too much to make the bed quilt stiff. So it's something that you kind of want to play with and just see how it's going to work. Now you're going to end up with weird areas and I included this section of the video so that way you can see how I fill it. I'm just simply travel stitching in and filling that little section full of echoes and then I'm going to come on down over here and try and fit in and fill the biggest teardrop shapes I can possibly fit. It's really rather simple. You just want to kind of swirl them in and swirl back out. And you can see I didn't actually stitch a full circle in that situation, I just went straight into the spiral. It's whatever is easiest for you and how you want to stitch it. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Spiral Paisley. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting, including a video tutorial on Paisley, a simpler version of this design, check out daystyledesigns.com.